おはよう。My name is Minami Toku and welcome to Finding Paradise Part 1. As promised, here is your Christmas present, the first episode of the sequel to To the Moon. I'm pretty hyped for this, so let's just get into it. Begin. Whee! I have no idea what this is about. It's just a sequel to To the Moon. And I think it's also tied in to the, a bird story, I think. Khan Gao, original music. Yeah, the, mu the music is oh, great. And yeah, the art style. I mean, I don't, I don't need to tell you, I guess, that I love RPG Maker games and the style of them. Oh, no, 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 wait. <laughs> no. What? <laughs> you didn't kill it this time. And you also didn't crash the car. Ooh, Dr. Rosaline and Neil Watts. What the heck, Eva? That's how you keep everyone alive, including the squirrel. <laughs> yeah, you remember you remember the opening scene. Neil Watts well, was a, tried to avoid the squirrel, but hit it and ultimately crashed the car. Ding! So apparently, Rosaline is the better driver. Hope you learned something. Duh. Look. Sometimes it's either us or them. By keeping ourselves alive now, we can be around to stop more self-inflicted critter casualties later. The logic. Mind equals blown, right? Enlightening. We should be arriving at the patient soon. I could use a snack before then. Do you mind? Oh, wow, only you would pack the glove box full of apples. Yeah, well, my nephew decorates the Christmas tree with them every year. Why would you decorate a Christmas tree with apples? I have no idea. Apparently it's a thing. And then I have to eat them for ages. Mmm. <coughs> Well, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, or so they say, so yeah. Apples on the Christmas tree, huh? Don't you dare say it. Don't you mean pineapples? Mm. Neil, no. I'm not hungry anymore. Here, you have the, al have the apple. Like, <laughs> that's also why I love those two. Oh, you're mean. Holy cow. There we are. There we are. This is a scooter. Or, wait, is it a motorbike or a scooter? Oh. Whoa, check out this red bike. Okay, it's a bike then. Why can't we go to work on these instead? Because we are here to visit that people, not to get ourselves killed. Really? I couldn't tell after the trauma of driving like a stunt double. Gah. Besides, we're visiting half dead people. Very different things. Yeah, well, let's hurry and keep it that way. Sure. All yours. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, so Neil has to carry the equipment again. Where are you going? The equipment's still inside the trunk. <sighs> Did you just call the equipment chunk? What? Never mind. But I wanted to help those kids. Or the kid over there. Oh, good gosh, then. Let's roll. Like a cucumber. 
What? You know, cucumber rolls. Sushi? <laughs> yeah, um, no. That's quite stretch. Well, your jokes are quite a stretch too sometimes. And sometimes they're so obvious, they aren't even funny. Okay, can we help the kid? Hmm, there's a leaking sprinkler over there. So what are you guys up to? Uh, hey now, what happened here? Potato? Why would you name someone Potato? She, she, she kicked my teddy into the water. Though, though, Amber. Wow, yeah, wow, that's a dumb bear. Just like your lame hair. Who looks like that? But, but Ma said my bun buns are pretty. Yeah. Well, she also named you. Uh, don't worry, we'll get your bear back. Actually, let me take care of this. Why? What do you mean, why? I'm telling you, I got this one. Who helps? Neil, of course. Hey. What? Hmm. Is that also hers? No, that's mine, you doof doof doofus. It's a new Rebel Doll X3000. Wee! They're cool because they got attitude and don't care. Unlike wimpy teddy bears. Oh. Neil, no! You don't do that! Neil, what the jalapeno did you do? What? What do you mean, what? You just took some kid's stall and kicked it into the water. You could get sued for... Yay! You're my hero! And no props, kid. In your face! <laughs> this is so messed up. Yes, it is, indeed. Justice is cold and damp, Eva. Kinda like a tuna. What? Okay, we can move on now. Hey, uh... Do you want me to get it back? Leave her be, we got more important stuff to do. So you want me to get your teddy back? I don't care anymore! Wow, kids these days are messed up. <laughs> uh, I should have gotten Rosaline to help there. Well, Eva. So, what do we do about those dolls now? Oh well, oh well. So, where do we actually need to go? In here, maybe? A flower garden. It looks quite, quite pretty, I guess. And here's the post box. Can't do anything. Wait a second. Isn't this a post box too? I know there, there, there are several, several types of post boxes. But wh why are there, there two? I mean... I know that in Japan they look like this, like the red square. But I've, I also, I've also seen like these round ones in... Where was that? I'm not quite sure. It was it was in some kind of pictures, but not they weren't in Japan like that. So maybe you got f so one for some kind of mail and the other one for other mail. I don't know. I wouldn't know. Is this the entrance? Yeah, this is the entrance. What is this? Hello. Hello. Hey there, this is Dr. Rosaline and Dr. Watts from Sigmund. You're actually here. 
Yeah, hope we're on time. Uh, uh, are you letting us in? I'll wait outside the door for you. Cool. What was that? What was that? What was what? Did you not feel the blast of ice through the monitor? Well, if she's the patient spouse, then she's got a dying spouse. It's not like we're here to lay out a picnic. Alright, maybe it's just me. Yeah, well, she hesitated there, but... Why, why would you say, oh, I hope we're on time? Um, I guess it's a difficult job. Uh, hi there, what what are you? Hey, oi, oi, can I talk to you? Hello, may I help you with something? We can wait till you sit down, my box carrying comrade. Thanks, bro. You really get me. Okay, so is this the house or what? Here to fulfill someone's dying wish, huh? How do you know? This is the second time I've seen a visit from your company this week. Who is it this time? Colin Reeds. Know of him? The retired pilot? Yeah, he lives on the top floor. Go on and give him the happy ending he deserves, probably. What? Okay, well... What's this floating thing here? Every time I see you folks, I know another room's about to go empty. At this rate, soon I won't even have a job here anymore. Okay, so what are you, the apartment manager or something? I, I don't even know when this is set in the future. I guess it's set in the future. Or somewhere, I don't know. There you go. But it's a really nice apartment complex. We don't get elevator music. Oh, Spouses, am I right? Huh? Always make the job so cumbersome. Depends on the person. Well... It's family, right? They're connected in a in a deep way. So of of course it's it's kind of hard to deal with them because they I mean their husband or or wife is going to die soon, so what else is there to do then Ah I don't get it. I mean you you just 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 read carefully, okay? Dr. Rosaline, is it? And Dr. Watts. <coughs> yes, we're here for Colin. Of course, thank you both for coming. Right this way. Well, thank you. What else is in here? That's a long corridor. Whose room is this? Knock, knock, knock. Oh, hi there. Oh, crap, you're from Sick Corp? Am I already dead? Uh, no. Don't lie to me. I just signed up for your services last week. They said you'd come for me when it's time. I already told you we're not here for you. No, I, I'm not prepared. I can't die yet. Oh, I know. You're not really here. I'm just seeing things. I just drank too much. Tra la 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 la. Beep. Bye. <laughs> okay, I, I guess I shouldn't have done that and scared the shit out of him. Ah, okay. Also, I have some issues with my hair, I guess. There we go. That's better. We can talk inside. Colin's waiting. Waiting? I thought he is dying. Why did you look 
that way. Act one. Tell me, what do you want to change? Mm -hmm. So wait, can we still speak with him? Oh, it's a two-story apartment. Okay. Huh. This is a quaint place. You got... Call into the other room. Come with me. Right down to business. I like that. Do you actually? Yeah, because right now I just really need to put this box down. <laughs> yeah, I guess, because it's heavy. There's the kitchen. Ah, here's the room. There's a picture here. Oh, I think it's from their wedding day. What do we have here? I can't click on anything, right? Ah, there. A model of small fixed wing aircraft. An unplugged computer. I guess he was a pilot then. Oh, there he is. Uh, who are you? Asher. You must be here for my father. Uh, yes, we are actually. You're the patient's son? Yeah, I came as soon as I heard. But we can talk later. Why don't you get us set up first? That box looks heavy. See, he gets it. So, why would you withdraw that suddenly? Where's the medical doctor? He's here. He just went to the washroom. Is the table over there enough to set up? Yeah, that'll do. Good. Better not disturb him in this state. So, let's set up. Are you guys ready to get settled? Uh... I think not yet. My colleague could use more workout carrying the equipment around. She's always taking care of me. Mm. But yeah, I think I should get a look. Okay. Just stretching my legs and breaking my back. So surprisingly large amount of neatly folded long chons here. Okay. Is looking there really necessary? Okay, I I guess I, I thought I thought by looking around some more, I could like get the a gist of whoa, what kind of person or family this is that lives here. But apparently she won't let us. So let's just set up that machinery. And I think we're ready. Where's the medical doctor? Why are you closing the curtains? Is the power here sufficient? Why does everyone keep asking that? It'll work fine, sheesh. But first, brace yourself for a power outage of cinematic proportions. There goes the machine and... Lights? They're still on. Huh. I guess you got a more stable power grid than our headquarters. <laughs> I hope so. That's equally comforting as it is worrisome. Mm hmm. You're in good hands. We do this all the time. Too much of the time, if you ask me. Neil, no, stop it. So, you two are for real? What do you mean? You can really fulfill his wish? Well, certainly try our best, ma'am. But we always succeed because it would only be in his head, though. Not like he'd be able to tell the difference. Anyhow, fess up. What is it that he wants? 
he wouldn't tell us. Oh. Mm. So we need to find out what he wants first. He said it doesn't affect us and we have nothing to worry about. Well, that sounds legit. Uh, look, that's that's okay. We'll find out from him soon enough. Isn't it also in the pa paperwork? Yeah, but who reads that stuff? Neil! I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Good. But seriously, where did the file go? It wasn't in the box? Nope, I guess I might have left it in the car. Alright, I guess we got time while the machine's building up anyway. Mm. Should I trust Neil or should I trust Eva? Come on, okay, let's just send Neil. Rock, paper, scissors, lizard Spock to the side. Lizard Spock? Okay. I'd rather play Logic. You forgot it, so you go get it. The end. Well played, Spock. <laughs> yep, that's called Logic. I've updated the system. It's practically configurating itself now. Good, that'll save some time. Already down to business, huh? Oh, there comes the doctor. Hey, I remember you. Yeah, it's been a while. Although, weren't Dr. Winters and Dr. Lynn assigned to this patient instead? Yeah, but the roosters were full at the time, so we heroically volunteered. Turned out they got nothing to do today, though. Of course. Hmm, I guess you never know the timing with the nature of your job. Yeah, but it could also be like that they haven't had a, fr a free day since I don't know. Because yeah, with with that kind of job, you never know when when you got when, when you have to do something and when not. So I guess they should rest a little. Anyhow, don't mind me. I'm just gonna go check on the patient. Mm-hmm. Fine, do that. And Neil, you go down the stairs and go fetch this paper. Do you want to talk to me? Is there anything I could help with? I'm just gonna head downstairs to get something. But Dr. Reese, Rosaline could use some help in a bit. Okay, understood. Yes, sir. Neil, don't forget to get the patient status monitor from Colin's medical doc first. Uh, yeah, good idea. I wouldn't want to be snoozing when it gives a, yeah. Okay. Give me that status. Here, this should help. Thanks. Remote patient monitor. Colin's heart rate monitor is now activated. Press escape or right click to open the menu. Trusty little wireless thing. Just hope it doesn't give me tumors. There we go. So his heartbeat should be quite stable now. There we have characters, notes, items, the usual stuff. So Neil, come on, let's go down. Can I actually go upstairs from here? And look what's up here, maybe? Might as well might as well as go get to the car first. Eva will be able to check th this place out when she's ready. Uh, proceed anyway. On, on second thought, screw it. I hope this didn't mess up the whole story. But maybe we can find out wha what the patient wants. What the heck? What is that? A dog? It's like the book version of a solitary confinement. What is this? Taped shut. They clearly don't want it opened. Mm. Leave it alone for now? Whatever, I don't care for it anyway. Well, maybe I should have opened that one. An antique dust coat mirror. So what's this painting? 
A faded old painting of a flying single engine plane. Ah, I thought... I, <laughs> first I thought it was a dog, but... Because, like, here would be the head and then leg, leg and tail. But no. These here are the wings. Oh well, whatever. <clears throat> the lamp is saying in a way. What's this? Okay, so... Uh, I should go as well as being handled. Oh crap, I can't open it anymore now. Mm. Oh well. <sighs> this might have been a valuable clue, but... Neil said something that Eva will inspect the place later on, so... Yeah. Oh. Q? Q. That's cool. That's a cool mechanic. Just switching characters. Nice, nice, like it. Neil wasn't kidding. This thing really is configurating itself. It does that now? Yeah, apparently the new paint isn't the only upgrade. I guess that means I get some time to snoop around the house. Cool. In the meantime, I'll go monitor the patient like a real doctor. <laughs> I kid, I kid. <laughs> what the crap? What are you doing? Uh, I should get someone to show me around. Okay. Maybe you? Anything I could help with, Doc? About Colin. Mind telling me a bit about your father before we get into his head? Well, he's a retired airline pilot and quite a people person. Worked hard to support the family from the ground up and always made time for us. Although more recently... But recently what? Well, nothing unexpected at this stage of life, I suppose. Look, I'd rather not write out tombstone tags before they do. Why don't I show you around before your colleague's colleague comes back? Maybe that'll help. It would. Thank you. Received note. Retired pilot. Cool. Asher has joined the party. Cool. So what about his mother then? Yes. Uh, about Colin? Do you mind telling me about your husband? Why? Won't you be going into his head to see for yourself? That... Well, more background and perspectives could always help. I don't know what I could tell you that you won't be able to see. Okay, I'm getting that cold vibe now you were talking about earlier. Oh, there's a star here. A model of a small fix fixed-wing aircraft. Hmm, this is your dad's? It sure is. I guess it reminds him of back when he trained flying those. Good. I think, no, I can't get any information of that one. There's the TV. Is that your parents? Yeah, that's them. I remember being embarrassed about that picture as a kid, but it's kind of sweet that they kept it so well. Mm-hmm. Flowers? Homegrown hibiscus. Oh, must be hard work growing tropical plants all the way out here. I wouldn't know any better. My mother takes care of them. We've had these around the house for as long as I can remember. I guess it's some kind of family tradition? Good. Remember that? Mm, what's in the kitchen? Is there something in here? There's a door. Ah, here's the bathroom. Dang it! Why's the toilet paper never on the dispenser? There you go. One day they'll thank me for the unsung hero that I am. Can you actually use the toilet? No, I well I hope not. Well it's a natural thing to do, but um, I wouldn't want to watch someone doing it. 
a dusty cello with quite a few scratches across the board. This is my father's old cello. He played it a lot back in the days. But not anymore, it seems. Yeah, I guess it's hard on the wrist. He usually just plays the scales, though. It's not exactly music to be enjoyed. Aged cello. And then we have a piano here. Digital piano. Also your father's... Or... No, this is my mother's. She used to lull me to sleep playing it back in the days. Intentionally, I hope. <laughs> Good. So let's come back out here. And maybe we can go upstairs and take a look at that book now. Maybe. I hope so. Maybe there's some big revelation or something. La 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 la. Yep. There it is. I haven't seen many apartments with multiple floors. Most of this floor is for maintenance. We just got a little storage room cut out. Sorry about the mess. It seems like they've been doing a bit of cleanup. So what is this? Huh? It seems like they missed one. I think I recognize that book. It's been around for quite a while. My dad kept it taped up. I, I guess he didn't want to throw it away. So what's in it then? Can he look? Yeah, it's sealed up. He doesn't want anybody reading it, huh? Well, under normal circumstances, I'd say to leave it alone for privacy's sake. But he did sign up to become your client, so... I don't know. Good thing I didn't open that book with Neil. So, unseal and open? There is a chance that it helped the mission. So what's in it then? There's nothing in this. Huh? It's, it's nothing but stacks of empty pages glued to the spine. They're all wrinkled too. The, that's odd. It's been around for ages though. Maybe whatever was on there faded? Uh, I'm not quite sure because like if you tape a box shut, even if you close a box, it, it, it's dark in there so it wouldn't fade. Because li usually light makes pictures fade, right? These aren't receipts, but I guess it's possible. Either way, there's not much you can do with this. So put it back there. Let's keep moving. Green book. So yeah, now we know what's in the book. Oh, actually, there's something else that might help you prepare. Really? What is it then? Or do we switch back to Neil? Here's the family photo album. Goes way back. A physical photo album in this day and age? Feels like it's turned to dust if I open it. It's quaint, but I guess they liked having something they can touch. Sure, I do too. Look through it if you want. I'll go check on my father. I should go get the medicine ready too. My colleague will be, will be back soon. But I'll check this out for a bit first. Good, we'll do that. We'll do that. So do you find anything? A baby, is that? Is it Asher? Oh, I can, here. So I guess this is Colin, this is Asher, and this is... What was her no name? Sophia? <laughs> Looks quite fun. Yay! They had a lot of fun to get... What, what, what is this? What's that strange... Helmet? Are those VR goggles, maybe? Piano? 
Oh, they used to do music together. Cool. And there he lost something. So I guess we're through with the photo album. And back to Neil. So yeah, I think we found out a little bit about the story that we should help Colin, but we didn't find out just yet what he actually wants, what his wish is. So for that we would need to send Neil downstairs to fetch that paper. But we will do this in the next episode. So thanks everybody so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Until then, stay true to yourselves. Oss.